Hi everyone, welcome back to Decoding Studio and today we are going to talk about React Native interview questions for beginners. In this video, we are going to cover basic questions and but that doesn't mean uh, you don't need to have knowledge of React JS and JavaScript. I'm assuming you are already familiar with React JS and JavaScript questions and you are here to learn about React Native basics. So let's get started. To make a start, uh, interviewer can ask you a question, a uh, simple question, what is React Native? So let's say, what is React Native? React Native is an open source framework developed by Facebook to build cross-platform mobile ap application using JavaScript, which can run natively on both Android and iOS. So being a, a React Native developer, you already aware of this, like you can run your code on Android and iOS, uh, both platform, and uh, you, you use a JavaScript as I've mentioned. So yeah, it uses the same building blocks as a native app built with Objective-C, Java, and Swift. So yeah, uh, the UI blocks, uh, React Native UI blocks eventually call uh, native component of iOS and Android. Uh, so that's why we uh, feel uh, native uh, look and feel in our React Native uh, apps. Second question is benefits of using React Native. There are some benefits are listed here. Uh, we can reuse the code and uh, uh, there are some pre-developed components that we can uh, import in our code. Large community of developers, yes, React Native is uh, uh, growing very fast, uh, so uh, its community is also growing very fast. Advantage of live and hot reloading. In React Native, uh, uh, there's a feature where you can uh, see your live changes, so you don't need to run your app again and again. Cost effective solution, so single code base and you will get uh, Android and iOS both apps, so definitely it will save some uh, money for you. Who uses React Native? Thousands of apps are created using React Native. Nowadays React Native is very popular and a uh, lot of companies adopting React Native uh, to create their Android and iOS app. Facebook Ads Manager, Instagram, F8, Airbnb, Skype, Tesla. So these are the big, big companies who are using uh, React Native uh, uh, currently. What are core components of React Native? React Native has a core components like uh, view, image, text, flat list, scroll view. So basically uh, these are the uh, components by using you can create uh, your app UI. So how you can uh, use this in our project, like this. This is a syntax, how we can use that. Explain the React Native threads. Basically in React Native, we have uh, three threads. First one is UI thread, JS thread, and shadow thread. UI thread is also known as a main thread. It's main application thread on which your Android and iOS app is running. It has access to UI and your UI can be changed only by this thread. So if you are Android and iOS uh, native developer, then you will know about that UI thread. So uh, whatever UI you are creating, so that runs over this thread and uh, yeah. And second is JS thread. So all the UI is managed by UI thread, uh, main thread as well. And JS thread is JavaScript thread deals with the business logic of the application where JS code is executed. API calls are made, touch events are processed. So basically all the business logic and uh, you know, your touch events and uh, API calls are um, have managed by JS threads. Shadow threads. This thread is background thread used by React Native to calculate your layout created using React library. So yeah, so this is a third thread and uh, uh, whatever uh, layout you are using, uh, uh, using React library, then uh, all the things are managed by this shadow thread. Sixth question is, uh, what is JSX? So this is also the main uh, feature or you can say main uh, thing in uh, React JS and React Native. JSX stands for JavaScript XML. JSX allows us to write HTML in React and native component in React Native. JSX basically make easy to write your uh, UI component uh, using like uh, as we have discussed, view, text and other things. So uh, this is uh, you know a sorted form of uh, uh, creating a UI in React Native or React JS. Here is the syntax of uh, JSX. How we can write a syntax. So as you as you uh, like in previous slides, uh, uh, 
earlier we have discussed about uh, a core component of react native so we can use a, those core component uh, inside a jsx to create a particular ui so for example i have created a you uh, uh, basically a a uh, text that is a decoding studio inside that we have a touchable opacity touchable opacity is uh, you know button so it will uh, give you a uh, feel uh, then you are pressing a button or something so this is all about uh, jsx seventh question is how do you style your react native component every react native component like view text image and others accept a style prop which is an object of css rule the only difference between css rules and css object used in react native is key in css object has css rule in camel case for example css rule background color will be a background color in react native so inside of css rules we have a hyphen uh, between two words but uh, in uh, react native uh, css object we have a background color it's a, in camel case no hyphen so let's see the syntax uh, so first uh, for uh, that we need to uh, import a style sheet from react native and then it will create a object like container uh, inside that we have a keys flex direction so as you can see inside a flex direction we don't have any hyphen and uh, border radius padding background color and color font weight so as you can see uh, this is how we a uh, style react native component eighth question is when would you use scroll view or flat list or vice versa so basically do you need to render a list of similar items from an array or the data is very big then we will use a flat list so basically uh, when we have a number of uh, items like suppose we have a list of songs and uh, we have a uh, 200 songs and we need to populate that songs inside our react native app then definitely definitely in that case we will use a flat list do you need to render a generic content in a scrollable container and the data is small so we can take an example of sign up uh, form inside a sign up form we have a 5 to 6 field uh, and we need to scroll those fields when uh, whenever a uh, user will enter some data so in in that case we can use a scroll view so that's that ninth question is how do you handle element size in react native So basically, all dimension in React Native is unitless and represent density independent pixels. By setting fixed height and width, the element will look exactly the same size on different sizes. But there is an instance where you want to give the width and height of an element in percentage. So definitely, sometimes we have to uh, display our component based upon uh, the percentage. so in that case uh, directly use of percentage is not supported in react native but react native does give a dimension module which can be used to give width in percentage dimension module gives the width and height of the mobile device so let's see the syntax how we can do that in react native code so basically first of all we need to import a dimension module from react native then uh, we can uh, get height and width using dimension dot get window and it will provide us a device width and device height and based on device width and height we will calculate the percentage of width and height of particular uh, component so that's all about uh, uh, dimensions module in react native and uh, last question but not the least what is use of platform module in react native React Native Platform module is used to detect the platform of device in which the application is running. So, for example, uh, you are running. Uh, you just need to uh, do something based on uh, uh, based on platform. Like for Android, uh, you just need to uh, change the color, a uh, color of your text in Android. Uh, you want to uh, display a black color, but in iOS, you just want to uh, a text color uh, white. Then you can use a platform color for that. so how we can do that uh, in uh, react native so you just need to uh, import a platform uh, from react native platform module from react native then you can uh, use that platform uh, color like this platform dot os is equal to ios then it means like uh, the height of that element will be a 200 otherwise uh, uh, for android it will be 100 same with the color uh, if platform is uh, equal, equal to ios then uh, Uh, the color will be a uh, you know hash code for black then in android it will be a uh, white 
so that's all about uh, the basic uh, react native interview questions in next video i will try to cover advanced interview question uh, for a senior level react native developer thank you for watching you guys are awesome and don't forget to like subscribe and comments